Hey everyone, it is I, Power in here, with another figure review. This time, it is the final figure of this uh, trio set from the Dragon Ball Evolved series. This right here is Super Saiyan Trunks from the Dragon Ball Super series. This right here uh, is Trunks during the uh, Goku Black arc of the Dragon Ball Super series, uh, where basically uh, Future Trunks comes back in time to the Super Dragon Ball Super uh, timeline to get some help. And what's it called? Seeing everything, how everything is different and whatnot, and telling the everybody in, in the super timeline how his future is uh, once again messed up again. They got to go uh, deal with the new bad guy, which is Goku Black, and another god called Samusu. Uh, but that is the uh, analysis, short analysis or interview of that part of the arc. But with that out of the way, let's go with the unboxing of the figure. And we're back, and now I'll start the unboxing of the video, uh, of the figure. And I will say, for those who are probably saying, hey, uh, you changed your background. Yeah, I did. Uh, what's it called? I made a new base, uh, flooring. I made some tile flooring here. Uh, these are, for those who are wondering, our Jenga's. Uh, because I had, like, a couple of Jenga sets. So that's, I decided to, like, well, let's make a tile floor. And you know what? I kind of like it. It works well. I like the wood aesthetic of these figures and whatnot. Uh, but what's it called? Before we unbox this. Do a little bit more of the box already here. All looking good. You can see already the figures right here. No problem at all. What's it called? We have trunks right here looking pretty nice. Now let's go with the unboxing. And like I always say, first things first, always go for where the plastic's at here. It, because like I said before, I always like to try to keep these boxes perfectly fine. Uh, don't do this at home, folks. Uh, what's it called? If you buy this, if you buy these figures, just open them like you usually do. Do not use any shark potentials. You can open these pretty n nice and easy. I'm just doing this just because I kind of want to keep the box fine. Uh, what's it called? Because I want to keep the box, but if anything, I'm probably just going to ruin it. But, like I said, we're kind of already used to me, what's it called, opening these with knives and whatnot. Ugh. Now we're ruining this. But you know what? Yeah, she did it. Because most of the time, I know how to angle these. And we can just get them to slide out. Woo. And like I said before, box usually mostly is intact. There might be some damage in the left side, but that's usually fine. I like to keep these boxes on the side. So when I uh, when I do any moving or packaging or want to package some of these in, I can just always put them back in the box, just do a little bit of glue. And they're sealed again for, um, for storage or... In case I just, in case I move, uh, it'll be safe. But now it's time to slide out trunks, and he just falls out pretty easily. The box for this is pretty nice, very sturdy. Always keep these for when I need to store these away, no problem at all. Now let's go with trunks. Ooh, first things first, he's pretty nice. No, I've heard people kind of dip on the style for Super Saiyan trunks, but I kind of like it, especially as someone who does have a denim jacket. I do like the style. I'm I'm one of the people who loves wearing his um, denim jacket. It's pretty nice. Uh, was a cold. Uh, he also has a bandana scarf. Looking pretty nice. A little bit sturdy, just because what's going barely out of the box. Gotta do a little bit more organization. There we go. Got just his joints. Looking pretty nice. I will say yes. I do miss the old style because I kind of did prefer. I did grow up. In the 90s and early 2000s, it was early Dragon Ball. So I am used to uh, what's it called the old style of clothing for Trunks. But overall, I still like this. I like the style of anything else. This is kind of like protagonist style for whenever you make a character or whatnot. And we're looking pretty good. Now with the unboxing pretty done, now let's go with a uh, little bit of the overview. And we're back. And now time to do a little bit of the overview. And you know, I just kind of just realized... Uh, with Dragon Ball characters and having tiles, I kind of remind myself I kind of kind of made the Cell games, which is funny because I do have Perfect Cell, and I will eventually do that figure review for Perfect Cell eventually later. But with that out of the way, let's go with the uh, let's see how Trunks is first things first. Overall, uh, detail works pretty nice. The face looks pretty nice. Uh, depending for what's called how you go for these uh, figures and whatnot, the uh, sculpting's pretty good. You can see right there in this jacket right there. Overall, pretty nice. Move the uh, bandana in a bit. You can see a little bit. You can see the detail work on the chest and whatnot for the jacket. Looks pretty nice. You got the Capsule Corp sign right here. His pants looking good. I always do look. I, I'm a kind of fan of, of the baggy uh, 
Oh, baggy pants. Not a lot, but I kind of do like baggy pants. The boots, I actually do like. I really do like the uh, Dragon Ball boots. I wonder if I can try to find one in real life. I'm pretty sure I can find uh, these type of boots in real life, right? Battle looking good. Then we got the backside right here. Overall, same thing. So, Chase for the Sword is pretty great. And, like I said, one of the few times where the sheath actually is a goddamn sheath and the sword's uh, actual sword. Uh, uh, for those who usually buy figures and whatnot, sometimes when you buy figures, sometimes the sheath is just a false sheath. It doesn't go all the way down, it just only goes like for a little bit. But the fact that we actually get a full sheath, sword and sheath, is amazing. And usually for uh, cheap figures like these, yeah, we well, usually cheap it out, but this time they didn't. I'm actually pretty happy about that. It's actually pretty good. And overall looking pretty great. Now that we got the overview for Super Saiyan Trunks out of the way, now let's go with the articulation of my my future trunks. Okay, going from the articulation, and first things first, we're going to take out the sword, as we already saw the sheets and whatnot. First things first, head right here. You can spin around, no problem at all. You can move bob and bob and weave, no problem at all. His scarf can actually move because actually it's not attached to anything, so we actually move the scarf around, no problem at all. It's cold, so that's pretty nice. Then his arm, able to spin. His arms able to spin around, no problem at all. Ooh. It's a little bit stuck here, but that's fine. There we go. It's able to now go in and out. That's actually what I like about these uh, figures. Kind of wish some other figures that I do and kind of would do this. Because some of those are actually more expensive than this. His arm can go all the way up. There. Oh, what's it called? See. And there we go. A little bit. Uh, the arm might be a little bit limited just because I have to figure out how to move the arm a little bit. Because I don't want to break this, but the arm's kind of being stuck on the this kind of joint right here. So, see if we can uh, move that. It's actually kind of being annoying now. Because the other figures can move their arm pretty fine, but this is now being stuck. Uh, you know what? That's fine. The arm can rotate. It can bend all the way. It's got a single elbow joint right there. Uh, hands able to rotate no problem at all. See right here. It's able to bend back and forth. No problem at all. Let's see if the same problem for this arm. A little bit. I don't know why it's being like this. It's this little piece right here that does not want to rotate on me. If I had a little bit more time, I'm pretty able to rotate and the arm should be able to go all the way. Because Gogeta and Goku sh can do it, but for right now, as far as the arm is able to go, I do apologize. The thing is being stubborn about it. If anything else, I might try to get some oil when I try to make it move. Uh, but arm's able to rotate. Right arm's able to single elbow joint right there. Single joint right there. Hand can rotate, no problem at all. Like I said, hand can go up and down, no problem at all, pretty fine. And going from the arms. Yeah, this thing is, yeah, I'm going to have to do some, uh, some adjustments on this. This thing does not want to rotate. I feel like if I do this, it'll probably break. Okay, going from the arms, we already saw the limitations for that. Uh, what's it called? Torso's able, torso's able to move. Be able to bend back and forth, no problem at all. And his body is able to spin, no problem at all. And it's also not just the arm. Well, actually, this might be a little bit stuck because of the sword. Oh yeah, no, I can't do that. Now was out ripping that because we could do that with with go with both Goku and Gogeta, but we can't do this trunk just because uh, the sheath is kind of blocked. So he can spin, but without ripping this apart, I'm not gonna do that. But you can spin, you can spin with his lower waist, so technically speaking, he's still got spinning, just can't do the torso spin, that's fine and whatnot. But we can do, uh, what's it called? The split, almost. It feels very loose. I kind of feel like, what's it called? They, dis they decided to change the design of the joints uh, with trunks, because the everybody else can do, kind of feels a little bit more loose. The leg's able to spin, no problem at all. Uh, what's it called? Uh, let's go right here. So, legs able to spin. So, yeah. So, you can do split. No problem at all. Kind of feels a little bit loose, but I think it's fine. 
Uh, sorry about that. We're kind of be going back and forth. Legs able to spin. It's got one leg joint right there, single joint. It's able to move pretty fine. Feet able to spin, no problem at all. Go back and forth. Uh, left and right. Uh, I think barely left and right. This thing's kind of stuck. But it has the potential to go left and right, but things being stuck on here. Like I barely right there, but I kind of feel like if I go push it any further, I might break this. I kind of want to do that. Same thing with right other right leg. Spin around no problem. Almost spin around no problem. Trunk's giving me a hard time today. Then the leg, able to bend all the way with a single joint. And then what's called feet, uh, right foot, is able to spin around. Back and forth, no problem at all. Uh, what's it called? Then it's spinning. Overall, not bad. Articulation is pretty good, decent. I'm not going to give it grades. What's it called? Uh, it's overall pretty great, uh, good. I was called the arm joints are the only thing that's been giving me a problem. But wait, what? Wait, you can shoulder up and down? Wow, I didn't know you can do that. Wait, does that work for the. Nope, I go spin down. Okay, so you can go all the way there. Okay. So I just noticed that the arm can go all the way up and down. I didn't realize. I don't know if that's a thing or something, but eh, that's not bad. Overall, the articulation, I give it a 7 out of 10. It's not, it's, it's good. It's not the best. What's it called? The arms and legs, like what's it called, torso joint and whatnot, it's still movable. No problem at all. Articulation is still good. Kind of feel like the other two are a little bit better, but I kind of also feel like the sword she's kind of there's a little bit of restrictions. Might be a little bit not designs and whatnot. What's it called? Uh, I think no, yeah, I think they added something here that's probably causing it not be able to move all the arms all the way. Because I'm seeing with Goku. Oh no, no, Goku does this. Weird. I think this might be my trunks. But yeah, overall articulation is okay. Uh, out of a ten, I would give it a seven. Not the best i mean it's still good salmon's still great articulation still pretty nice especially for the price for this figure overall pretty great and we're back and that is it for the uh review and all that uh final thoughts overall the figure is great uh there might be some articulation things but that might be just my figure or whatnot uh might you have to do some modific not modifications some adjustments i think it's the shoulder joints right here that are causing the reason why it's not its arms not able to go up, so I just might have to move him a little bit so he can go a little bit more, or I might have to pull the arms out so they uh, so he can what's called uh, be able to move his arms a little bit more up because Gogeta and Goku can, and what's it called? So yeah. Uh, besides that, everything else is great. Uh, movement's pretty great. Articulation is good. Detail work is fine. Sculpting is pretty good. Overall, for a ten dollar figure, it's not bad. Uh, uh, do I recommend it? Get it? Yeah, it's still recommend it. It's a uh, Good uh, figure to get in your collection, especially if you're starting out. Uh, what's it called? You want uh, almost all the characters. Ten dollar price. It's not gonna. It's not gonna break the bank. Uh, what's it called? Overall, still a good figure. I still recommend it. Uh, if you're or trying to find these, you can find these either at Target because it's where I usually get my stuff. Especially now with Target being a little bit more anime, anime ish, was bringing more and more uh, uh, anime figures and stuff for. The West and all that. Uh, other places you can get them is at Amazon, which is uh, where I get some of my other figures. Uh, but with that out of the way, that is the review for Super Saiyan Trunks from the Dragon Ball series. Uh, if you like the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate it. Uh, and as always, have a nice day, folks. Design Power Arden, signing out. And I'll see you guys on the next one.